would you lift up your voice in this room? If you know that he's great, would you lift up your voice in this room and give our great God a great praise? Hallelujah! Sing that one. just coming. The fruits of it are already here. There is a global revival coming, but I need you to know that it's already happening. It's already happening. There are the first fruits happening in communities all around the world, and I come to declare to you that it's happening. It's happening. That's why we say...
andala bat andala babande ribat andara gesde sia tegeri bende jahanda rabo sia tendere bende maragade meneke gesde sia tegeri bende makat andala bo se tendere bende rababa tandara bo shai tendere bende ragat andara babo sia tegeri bende rebeti andeke di bo sat andala ba rababa ba tandara bo si tandara bande Reba tandara babo se tagari bende neke tembere ke bende gi atendere bo shaga tandara gaba si atendele be neke tendere bo tandara babande gi rababa sha handara bo sanda neke ze tsembe ki atendere bo sha handara bo si tandara ba rega tandara babo sinde keriande raba tandara kabe si atende Nike tende ribo shaya tanda Nike si tanda la ba tanda la babande Roko tumbaka tende ribo Shahanda rabo si andeke Nike de banda kia sekende ribe Nike de baba tanda la baba sende Nike tembere kebe zet sende ribo Shege tembere kebe set tende ribo Nike de bati andeke di aba tanda la bo Shege tende ribo tundoro kubande Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you are this morning. Come on, pray in the Spirit this morning. Come on, saints, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Neke se tendere bondo shada kandara bo sende you need to pray in the holy ghost you need to pray in the spirit neke sha neke sha kanda bo se neke sha ha 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 raba ka ze kendere bo tanda raba neke sa tanda laba shehe ke tembe neke tamba ka tanda raba neke sa tanda ra ko sondo sha ha 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 Reba tanda ragaba sendeke ya ndeke Neke de mande ya tende de bo so tondo robe Reba tanda raba bo se tanda raba Neke se tende de bo sa tada Reba tanda ragaba se tende de bo Sheke de bati ande Father we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ this morning We thank you for the anointing We thank you for your power at work within our lives Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven my father we praise and exalt you for your goodness and your grace there is no one like you you are the king of kings and the lord of lords you are the alpha and the omega you are the beginning and the end and everything else in between you are our healer you are our strong deliverer your very present help in time of need you are our righteousness you are our peace we find our joy in you my god our strength is found in you that there is no weapon that is formed against your children that could ever prosper we rise up this morning in faith we stand in our god-given right and authority we are seated with christ in heavenly places far above all principality and power every ruler of darkness spiritual wickedness in high places they're all under our feet we praise and exalt you this morning. Oh, arise, my God. Let your enemies now be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, arise, my God. Let your enemies be scattered. There is no evil that shall befall us. Neither shall any plague come nigh our dwelling. You've given your angels charge over us. According to Hebrews 1 and 14, are there not all ministering spirits sent to minister salvation? Uh, salvation to those who are about to receive their inheritance my God we praise and exalt you for your word your word is working mightily in our midst uh, and it's prevailing my God thank you my God that your word is at work within our midst you've sent your word to heal us 
There is no evil. There is no harm. There is no danger. A thousand will fall at our side. Ten thousand at our right hand. It shall not come near us, my God. We rise up in faith this morning, my God. For without faith, it is impossible to please you. We stand in this place in faith. We believe, my God, it's the fervent prayer of the righteous that avails much. Much power is available when we pray. Be exalted this morning. Be glorified this morning. You are God and you are King. Arise, my God, and let your enemies now be scattered. Drive out everything demonic, satanic, unrighteous, impure, and unholy. Remove it from our midst, my God. But let righteousness and truth prevail. You are God of righteousness. Justice and righteousness are the foundations of your throne. We walk in the light, my God. We are children of light. Oh, my God, as he is, so are we in this world. We stand in our God-given right and authority. We walk in the peace of God. We walk in the strength of the Spirit. For this is not by power, it is not by might, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. Now everything demonic and unrighteous, everything, every infirmity breaks from our lives this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, affliction will not arise a second time. Oh my God, come and take your rightful place on the throne of our hearts this morning. Oh, come and rule and reign, my God. Come and take your rightful place. Oh, righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne, my God. We've come to stand in our God-given right. We are the righteousness of God. And as we stand in our God-given right and authority, everything demonic, satanic, unrighteous, unholy, impure, every infirmity has got a bow in your presence. For there is a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. My wife, you need to pray. Get tenderly bo satandalaba. Come on, let's just keep on praying in the spirit this morning. Hallelujah. Everybody that is online right now, come on, you just stand where you are right now. We're taking a stand this morning as sons and daughters of the Most High God. Come on, arise this morning in your home. Arise against every oppression and depression of the enemy today in the name of Jesus. We come in against the spirit of passivity today. We're coming against the spirit of just trying to settle right now. There is more that God has for you in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now that sons and daughters are rising in this hour in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now that we are finishing strong. There's a finishing spirit coming upon you right now. Raise your hands right now. Oh, submit to God. Resist the devil and he has to flee right now. Everything that you need right now. I decree and declare an open heaven upon your life today. An open heaven right now. Coming upon your home right now. The atmosphere where you are right now. Faith is arising in the name of Jesus. Come on, you come against every work of darkness right now. Every ignorance now is leaving your place right now. Your mind is now surrendered to God. Your mind right now is open to the wisdom of God. Your mind right now is open to revelation and insight in the name of Jesus right now. I decree and declare right now sons and daughters of God are moving by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. I thank you Father God. Your word says that the, the, the path of the righteous becomes brighter and brighter. Oh thank you that the righteous sons and daughters of God are moving synchronized and syncopated to the choreographic movements of the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus I thank you right now Father God that your kingdom is ever increasing it's ever on the move my God I thank you today Father for a supernatural divine reposition
destiny of every son and daughter of God in Jesus' mighty name. I come against right now everything that has tried to shipwreck your faith right now in Jesus' name is moving out of your sphere of influence in the name of Jesus. Come on, you got to believe God this morning. You got to press into God. You are anointed to pray this morning. Come on, the anointing right now over the stream right now, touching your home, touching your life, touching your family in the name of Jesus. Come on, you crying out for a word from God. You've been searching God right now and crying out God for God to come and heal and restore and deliver right now. The anointing for breakthrough is coming right now. It's hitting your home. It's hitting your life. It's hitting your business right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, you got to pray against that spirit of passivity. You cannot settle anymore. You cannot believe that this is just what God has. Come on, there's more that, has God, that God has for you. I declare and declare right now. There's an increase coming right now. Your capacity is being increased right now. Your strength is being increased right now. Your faith is being increased right now. In the name of Jesus, come on, you got to believe for more. You got to believe for bigger. You got to believe for the supernatural. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now that in your atmosphere, every spirit of doubt, every spirit of fear, every sickness right now, every poverty right now is leaving your presence right now. You got to stand as a son and daughter of God and by faith right now, you just got to move your feet and say, I'm not settling. I'm not receiving what the enemy is throwing at me. I'm standing up and standing against every work of darkness right now. I decree and declare light coming into your life right now. Light coming into your marriage. Light coming into your children right now. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is upon you. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of might, which is the power to do anything is coming upon you today. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, you got to give God a prophetic praise this morning. you got to believe right now that you are the healed of the Lord. you got to believe right now that you are the called of God. you got to believe right now that faith is working in you and for you right now. That the blessing of the Lord is operating in your life right now. And everything right now that has been a burden to you is being removed today in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, you got to believe that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. Come on, you got to pull down those strongholds. Every ungodly stronghold is coming down today in the name of Jesus. Come on, we are not led by our feelings. We are not led by earthly circumstances. You live above the systems of the world. God has given you the word of God. He's given you a mouth that you can speak. That's a system that God is using to manifest heaven in, on earth in the name of Jesus. You got to speak into your atmosphere. You got to speak over your life. You got to speak right now and declare the word from your mouth in the name of Jesus. You are coming out. Come on, decree and declare. I am coming out of every trouble in the name of Jesus. I know which way to go. I know what to do. I am led by the Spirit of God. I am moving in tandem with the Spirit. I have revelation. I have insight. I have wisdom right now. My path is becoming brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is only life on my path. There is only life wherever I go, wherever I stand. I just dispense the life of God in every situation. I lay hands on the sick and they do recover. I declare, I decree a thing and it is established for me in the name of Jesus. I give you praise God. You are glorious. You are mighty. You are God all by yourself. I am submitted to God most high. He is God almighty. There's none more powerful. There's none more greater than our God. Come on, you got to stir your atmosphere. Faith is being released right now. Hallelujah. The faith of God. I thank you for every son and daughter right now that has the God kind of faith that is able to shift 
economies in Jesus mighty name they able to go into this media my God and declare and decree the God the kingdom of God is here and manifesting all around in Jesus mighty name I come against every work of darkness concerning the education system right now I come against every mind that has been settled right now and believing that this is the system that we live in under I thank you right now that we get an education from a far superior system there's revelation coming from the sons and daughters of God revelation my God for every child that is born into this kingdom in the name of Jesus for righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost is your portion son and daughter of the Most High God come on pray in the spirit right now there's a release coming right now there's a breakthrough coming right now come on you got to believe right now that yes there's problems but come on God's releasing the solution for every problem that you are facing right now in the name of Jesus father today we repent of every word curse we repent today father God of living below our standards living below father God the kingdom standard for every son and daughter of God I come against that spirit right now arise son and daughter of God let God be your light let God be your salvation come on he has done everything for you and me it's time to step in all that he has for you you are more than a conqueror you are victorious Come on, you are triumphant in every area of your life today. Don't let the enemy lie to you any longer. You are God's and God is working mightily in your life. He's doing a mighty work right now. You're going to believe that this morning. I decree and declare right now, Father God, you're raining down revelation. Our sons and daughters are getting revelation of the word of God. They get in revelation of the work of God in the name of Jesus. Where they wasted their times, my God. They now moving, Father, in the path that you have ordained for them, my God. And I decree and declare an acceleration coming upon every step right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that they will be a thousand times more powerful, my God. That we are more numerous, my God, than those that are in the earth, my God. I thank you today, Father, that you get all the praise and all the glory this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So you lost the street. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. Fast is it? Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Spirit. Out this morning, hallelujah. Come on, sons and daughters here in the house this morning. We got to pray in the Spirit right now. I thank you right now that come on, pray against the airways, pray against every hindrance that the word of God now will go forth with power and authority right now. Come on, take authority over this atmosphere right now. I decree and declare, Father God, that the word of God will go out unhindered and unchecked from every outside and external force right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that every son and daughter's eyes are now being opened, Father God, so that we can accurately pray and address this devil in the name of Jesus. Come on, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the overthrow of strongholds right now in the name of Jesus. Pray in the spirit right now. Come on, we know that when we pray in the spirit, that's a weapon against the enemy in the name of Jesus. Yada 
Come on, we put it on the whole armor of God this morning that we are able to stand against the wiles of the devil this morning. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, come on, son and daughter, take up the whole armor of God that you are able to stand in the evil day and have it done all to stand in the name of Jesus. Come on, you got to take your stand as a son and daughter of God this morning. You have the, you have the power and the anointing upon your life to shift whatever is happening right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, let go of that passivity. Let go of the apathy right now. There are sons and daughters that need a word this morning from God. And we are the ones that are standing in the gap right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we decree and declare right now, Father, that spiritually right now, our words are being carried right now in the name of Jesus. Touching every home, touching every heart, touching every family, touching every marriage right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the healing anointing going forth right now. In Jesus' mighty name, come on, you got to believe right now that the weapons of our warfare are mighty in God. Come on, the weapons of our warfare, the spirit of praise, the word of God. Come on, you got to believe this morning that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world right now. Come on, this right now, you got to believe that God is doing a mighty work in the earth. In Jesus' mighty name, that our prayers are carrying weight right now. That this prayers this morning are going forth with power and authority in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now, there's a demonstration coming for the sons and daughters of God. There's a demonstration coming for the power of God to manifest the glory of God to come upon you and your home in Jesus mighty name. Come on, you got to believe there's an urgency coming right now. You must believe that the hour is now for the sons and daughters to arise and to take their rightful place in the name of Jesus. The kingdom is here. The kingdom is ever increasing my God. I thank you for the God, that we're in the river with God, that we're moving with the Spirit of God. Oh yes, Lord, deep is calling unto deep this morning, my God. We come against every shallow thinking right now. I decree and declare a spirit of revelation, a spirit of wisdom, supernatural coming upon the sons and daughters of God in the name of Jesus. Oh, da 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 kalabako. Oh, Father, thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, we're going to be worshipping on another level when we begin to open our mouths, raining down revelation. It's raining down the glory of God. Healings will manifest for the sons and daughters of God in the name of Jesus. Yada da 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 kalabako, yada da 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 kalabako, yada da 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 kalabako no do kalabaka. We live above the systems of this world. We live above the systems of this world. We are not governed by earthly circumstances. We are led by the Spirit of God. Arise, son and daughter of God. Take your rightful place this morning. Believe God for the anointing to remove and destroy every burden that you've been living under. I come against that spirit of poverty. I come against the spirit of lack right now. I decree and declare that that there's more than enough. You are living in the overflow. There's an abundance coming right now as you are submitted to God, as you dedicate your life to God, as you submit and get, consecrate your life afresh and anew this morning in the name of Jesus. I thank you this morning for that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let your kingdom come, Lord, and let your will be done today on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, just give God a prophetic praise right now. Wherever you are, wherever you are, come on, you got to give God a prophetic praise this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Aria korobosi o kokorobosi e kekere babarabosi a kakare beso koko bokoso e shia tata taka si a treketre beso kokorobosi a kakara babaraboso maria kara babarabosi a kakasi a treketre besi o kokorobosi a kakisa o ki a tasa treketre besi o kokorobosi a kakara babaraboso aria totrobosi e treketre besi e kekere babarabiso kokoroboso father we come against every working of wickedness oh god and every wicked scheme of the enemy father we thank you lord god that your word is prevailing over this place and over this house oh god and over everything that we do father god i speak life and blessing upon this church upon this ministry father god and the word that you've called us to release father god i come against every distraction every hindrance and every working of the wicked one father god to stop what needs to flow from this house in the name of jesus father i thank you right now that there's a flow that there's an anointing father god that there's a father god an increase father god that there's a power that's being released from this house oh god to bring deliverance on every side to your people father god i call everything in this ministry into divine alignment i speak divine order father god over every area of ministry father god your word says whatever we put our hands to it shall prosper oh god even as the volunteers those that are serving those that are working father as we put our hands to this work father god i decree and declare that the blessing of the lord shall flow father god quicken our minds oh god quicken our spirits to the working of what you're doing father god i thank you for the spirit of discernment father god in the season oh god to discern what we are doing in this house of god and the work that you've called us to do in the name of jesus help us to work with earnest expectation each and every day father god as we prepare for ministry as we prepare for the word as we prepare for a time father god i thank you lord god that everybody's spirits now come into divine alignment awaken us to the season father i bind the spirit of slumber and stupor father god and i thank you each and every one of us are standing to attention and are standing in order Order, Father God, for what you want to have done in the season in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your will and have your way. Have your will and have your way. We submit to you and to you alone, Lord. So things are shifting. Things are changing right now in Jesus' name. The earnest prayer of a righteous man produces powerful results in Jesus' mighty name. Oria tatatara babara bosi e kekere babara bosi o kokoro boso kokoro boso. Oh, we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are in this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are in this place. Come and have your will and have your way, Father. Come and do what you need to have done, O oh God. Father, we submit to you afresh and anew this morning. We submit our lives, our minds, our will, Father God, to you this morning. Come and do what you need to do, Jesus. Come and do what you need to do, Jesus. 
You said it's harvest time, Father God. And so our prayer this morning, Father God, is to you, the Lord of the harvest. For you to have your will and have your way in us, O oh God. Direct our feet. Direct our feet this morning, Father God. Your word is a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet, O oh God. We want to thank you, Father God, for the word that you've given into this ministry, Father God. We want to thank you, Father God, for the word, the revelation, the insight, and the understanding you've released, released in this house, Father God. And so we pray this morning, Father God, a special blessing, even over our apostle and pastor Z, Father God, we speak life and blessing upon them today, Father God. We decree and declare, Father God, that they are about their father's business, Father God. We thank you that they are anointed and called and graced for what you set before them, Father. I speak acceleration over the work of God in their hands, O oh God. I speak today, Father God, into their beings and into their bodies, Father. I thank you that healing and wholeness is their portion. I thank you, Father God, that their minds are stayed upon you father god i thank you lord god that you are undergirding and strengthening them with every resource every individual every relationship every divine partnership that is necessary and needed for the building of this house and this vision father i thank you lord god that people are coming from the north the south the east and the west to do what you've called us to do in this season father i thank you lord god that even as you've undergirded them with the word and the revelation for this generation father god i thank you that this word is preserved and protected in this house in the name of jesus and father i thank Thank you that it's spreading to all four corners of the earth father i thank you lord god for wisdom insight understanding and strategies father god the same way you anointed the people in the time of moses to build what you showed him father i thank you that the anointing of those upon the church oh god upon the sons and daughters in this house to build what you've said father god to build what you've shown on the mountaintop father god i thank you lord god that there's a flow in the season that there's a moving father god that there's a flow father resources and people People and wisdom and insight oh God whatever is needed to build what is needed to be built in this house it shall be done and it's coming to pass now in the name of Jesus there's no more slothfulness oh God there's no more slacking oh God on the sons and daughters in this house but we're rising up oh God to do what you've called us to do a generation is waiting father God and so I pray today father God for supernatural strength oh God upon the leaders of this house oh God upon our pastors upon our apostle father I pray today father God that there's a fresh anointing of God upon their lives of God to do what you've called them to do I thank you for the clarity of vision that you provided in the season father I see people coming under oh God I see people coming under the vision I see people submitting to the house I see people submitting to their spiritual parents I see people coming in from the north the south and the east and the west oh God with an urgency in their hearts oh God I see people getting up out of their beds oh God those that have been delayed in the season those that have experienced hindrances in this life season I see them getting up with fresh legs oh God with a fresh anointing to run oh God with a fresh anointing to build oh God I thank you that we are seeing as one and we functioning as one and we speaking as one the same way with Gideon father you said you'll destroy them as one man and so I pray that over this house today and I decree and declare that there's a unity that's coming in this house in the season that people are getting up from their homes that they are choosing to gather they are choosing to come and sit under the word right now people are making this decisions to change their lives oh God to submit to you father God right now as your spirit is speaking into their hearts people are getting up oh God to do what you've called them to do in the season father we declare and declare over this house oh God there's a generation that's waiting father God thank you daddy for choosing us in this hour I declare as kingdom life on embassy we are responding to the call today Lord I declare that as a church, we're responding to the call today, Lord. Flow through us, Daddy. Use us for your will, for your plan, for your pleasure, and for your purpose. Come and have your will and have your way, Father God, in and through our lives, oh God. Come and have your will and have your way in and through our lives, oh God. Oh, I declare a season of acceleration. I declare a season of acceleration. I thank you, Lord God, that there are more for us than those that are against us in Jesus' name. 
Open up our eyes in the spirit so that we can see like you see, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, that every field, Father God, every field, every territory that you've assigned to this house now, Father, I declare it comes into submission and subjection to the Lordship of Christ. I thank you, Lord God, that the anointing of God is upon this house to go in and take over in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare the anointing is upon this house that wherever we go, Father God, people are submitted to the spirit of Christ that is on the inside of us, oh God. I thank you that souls are being saved. Territories are being redeemed for the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. I thank you that there's a supernatural outpour, oh God, of your power, of your anointing, of your wisdom, of your insight, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, that you're raising up Daniels in this church, oh God. Joseph's in this church, oh God. Esther's in this church, oh God. To go in and take over and rule and influence, Father God. Whatever needs to be influenced in each and every of those territories, oh God. We bind now the work of wickedness, oh God. We declare and declare to be going in with the kingdom system that is dominion and power over the kingdom system over the system of this world we decree and declare that those systems are falling or breaking or toppling but the system of the kingdom it shall progress it shall advance it shall go from glory to glory it shall increase and ever increase i decree and declare that wherever we go we walk with authority knowing that we are called as the children of the most high god we function in righteousness we function with justice we walk into every environment every situation every atmosphere every territory and we advance the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. I see the kingdom advancing. 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 I see the king getting the glory. I see the king getting the glory. I see the king getting the glory. Oh, we worship you. We magnify you and we glorify you in this house, oh God. Old ceiling are becoming floors. I see limitations being destroyed. I see the kingdom going in. I see the kingdom breaking every shackle, every chain, every limitation, every dividing spirit. I see the kingdom moving in every territory, atmosphere, and space that God has called us into. I thank you, Lord God, that the waters are flowing from this house, oh God. The river is flowing from this house, oh God, to produce healing and breakthrough and answers, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I declare and declare that as the word is being preached from this pulpit, as the word is being preached from this pulpit, I thank you, Lord God, that scales are being removed, that as people are sitting under this word, scales are being removed, oh God, eyes are being opened, deception is lifting over this church and over every person under the sound of the apostolic voice in this house that as the word goes forth people are being delivered they're being set free i decree and declare that is this word is being released that clarity is coming to people's minds that they're waking up from the from the slumber and the stupor of the enemy i thank you lord god that they're seeing the way they should see they're seeing the way they should see people are catching revelation in the season as the word is going forth it's dripping like honey in the season people have an appetite for the word of god in this house people have an appetite for the spirit of god in this house i decree and declare that as the word goes forth that there's a breaking open that there's a breaking open in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh we want to honor you god oh we want to just magnify you in this house this morning father what a privilege and an honor it is to know you, Lord, to serve you. We feel special for what you've released over this house, Daddy. We just want to say thank you, Lord. We want to thank you, Jesus. We want to honor you in this place, God. We want to honor your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, move. Have your will and have your way. Less of us and more of you. Less of us and more of you. You reign supreme over our lives. Over this church. Over every family. Young and old, Father. Every person connected to this house. Have your will and have your way, Jesus. Come and do what you need to do, Lord. 
Come and do what you need to do, Lord. There'll be a fresh outpour in the season, Father. A fresh outpour in the season, Lord. Keep magnifying the Lord. Lift your hands. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Are we streaming? Yeah. Magnify the Lord this morning. Let me give you the word the Lord gave me this morning. As I woke up early this morning, the Lord put the word in my spirit, fantastical. I went studying a little bit on it and also just the word fantasy. And the Lord's been speaking about a people that have created a world. A fantasy is something that you dream of in your head, but doesn't translate into reality. That means you can dream of some things and it can be something that you can create in your world and keep on living that way, but it never comes to pass. And the scripture that I have for you is found in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Scripture says, you are the just. You are the righteousness of God. It says, but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Until Jesus comes, which is the perfect day, your life must go from glory to glory. You should go from one level of light, light being revelation, to another levels of revelation. You weren't supposed to be creating a world in your head about cars and houses and one day a husband and, 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 and a dream world. Jesus came to give you life, not a fantasy life. He came to give you life. And the importance of that is that when Jesus confronts you, the Bible speaks about the spirit of truth. When he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will lead you and guide you into all truth and righteousness. So the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, knows everything about you and still loves you. The Holy Spirit is the only one that will tell you the truth about you. That's what I love about the Holy Spirit. Because it's very tough when you have to come face to face with stuff that he says, this is not God. That's just a dream. That's just you and your religious mindset. God will tell me that. God will tell you that. And I love the Holy Spirit for that. Not everybody wants to walk in the light. Not everybody wa wants to walk in the truth. And they create a world for themselves that is outside of the will of God because it's called a fantasy. It's fantastical. It's not the reality of what life is all about. So when Jesus goes and introduces worship to the woman at the well, she says, give me of this water so I may also drink. He says, well, first give me your husband. She says, well, I don't really have. He says, you're right. Because you've been with five. And the one that you're with is not even your husband. That means you created this fantasy and you've allowed the enemy to create this thing 
in your life and you're thinking your life's going to turn out okay. And so when Jesus meets her, he gives her the truth. And when she meets up with the truth, he says, now you can worship me in spirit and in truth. And so truth is what you're looking for. The Holy Spirit's only going to tell you the truth. Let me tell you some of you that are online. You're knowing, you're hoping that one day your spiritual life's going to come right. But you're not praying. You got this fantasy in your head of you thinking of you praying, but you're not praying. Let me tell some of you that are thinking that you one day you know it's going to come right when I go to church. But you're not near the church. You're not in fellowship anymore. You, you, it's a fantasy world. You're not connecting with other people. You're not being truthful. You're not speaking honestly to yourself. Some of you have not even repented in years. The Holy Spirit is going to confront you with things this week. Because your, your life must, you are the path of the just. You're the just. And the path of the just becomes brighter and brighter. You're not supposed to walk in deeper and deeper deception. Some of you don't want to know the truth. And the Holy Spirit speaking. He's the spirit of truth. And so you must desire truth in the inward parts. When David was living in deception and he was creating this world, a prophet came to him and said, this is what your life is all about. And when David fell on his face with Psalm 51, he fell before the Lord, he says, this is the deception I've been living in. Bring truth back into my heart. Your word I've hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Please hear me today. You got to wake up every morning and say, Father, did I sin against you yesterday? Was there things that I messed up? Do I have to go make right with somebody? Let me not live in a world of deception, a fantastical world believing that we're okay, but we're not okay. Believing that the presence of God is in your life, but He's not there. And the Holy Spirit is not speaking to you anymore. You've got to listen to me this morning. Because you can create a whole world outside of the Word of God and believe it's God and it's not. And pretend that you're okay, but you know you're not. The path of the just becomes brighter. My life must improve. I've got to look at my life and say, how did I do this year? It's November. Is my life going anywhere? Am I improving in my walk with God? Am I getting more disciplined? I mean, we can have this picture of this great outfit that we wore 10, 20 years ago, but you know you're never going to go back into it. Just get out of that fantastical world and speak the truth to yourself. And if you want to speak the truth to yourself, speak to the spirit of truth. He'll always tell you the truth about you. He's not going to give you a world outside of God. This world that we're living in it's just a it's a fantasy for many people you find security in things and and worldly ideas in jobs and not once do you confront even the truth that you one day this all comes to an end the spirit of truth will tell you that that's why if moses prayed he says now help us to number our days aright that means let's get out of this fantasy world that we're going to live until, until forever. Help us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom. And that's my prayer for you this morning. That you'll break out from this world of deception, believing that you're okay, believing that you're safe, believing that you are doing okay. Please listen to me. This is what the Spirit of the Lord gave me this morning. You are the just. And your path must become brighter and brighter. You must go from walk in the truth, walk in the light. Jesus is the light of this world. He came into this world, the, the darkness could not comprehend it. Make up your mind today that you're going to walk in the light. That you're going to speak the truth in love. That you're going to tell the people what you need to tell them. Stop delaying what you, what you need to go and face. You cannot conquer what you're not willing to confront. Go and repent what you, where you need to repent. Go and make right with people. Make the phone call. Fall on your face before the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you. We're having communion in the morning. 
This is not a religious setting. You have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of truth wants to speak to you. And confront the dysfunction. And go and speak the truth to people. Don't keep pretending that, this is, that your life is okay. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. And whatever God reveals, He wants to heal. You need to make right with people. God, you hear me? You're not going to live forever. You can't be spending whenever you want to spend and believe that one day it's all going to turn out okay in your saving and, and your development of your spirit. You, you believe that one day your, your prayer life is going to turn out okay, but you don't pray once, you don't fast, you're saying amen and pretending. What fantastical world are you creating? I've got to come to the church to pray. I've got to get involved in worship. I've got to give. I've got to serve. I've got to get involved. I can't create the world and then believe because that's where the enemy lives. And he loves that kind of people because it's a world built on deception, not truth. Speak the truth to yourself this morning, man. And if you invite the Holy Ghost in, he'll tell you the truth about your life. We are here to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And if you are the just, you are on a path. And your path must become brighter and brighter. You are a child of a living God. Walk in the light, man. Walk in the truth, man. The reason why we got drunk and went to, go to nightclubs is because we, we could not face the truth of how empty our lives were. That's why we did it. That's why you did drugs. That's why you slept around. That's why you messed around. Because the reality of what our lives were like, we just pretended like it's okay. And to the world that all of us that were walking in deception, we all lived that way. But when you came into the body of Christ and you got connected to the Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of truth, He leads you and guides you into all truth and righteousness. Now I'm telling you, whatever God wants to reveal, He wants to heal. God would not give me a word like this. If he's not dealing with all of us and saying, go and make right with your husband. Go and fix it with your pastor. Go back to church. Act upon the word. Don't pretend in your head that it's okay. Go and do what's right. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus this morning. We come before you and we submit our lives to you. We came here because your word is truth. We love the truth. We love walking in the light. We love speaking the truth. We're broken from religious systems. We're in a kingdom that is real. The life that you've given us, I'm asking you this morning to switch on the lights. As we're switching systems, as we're coming into this new level of understanding and revelation, I pray that you would leave no stone unturned. We're not here to hide. We're not here to hide our sin. We're not here to pretend before you. The Father seeking such, those that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Lift all forms of deception. If it breaks our hearts, let it break our hearts. But we want the truth. We want to walk in the truth. We are children of light and we want to walk in the light. Hear our prayer this morning. In you there is no darkness at all. I pray this morning for your mercy. I pray for your covering upon the service, upon your people. Holy Spirit, our best friend. You are our best friend. Come on, type it out in there. Holy Spirit, you're my best friend. Say it from your lips this morning. Lift your hands and say, Holy Spirit, you're my best friend. He's the spirit of truth that wants to lead and guide you into all truth and righteousness. You will not walk in deception anymore. The Lord will tell you that that's unkind. That's nasty. That's not me. He wants to guide you. 
away from all kinds of deception. He will tell you that you're being lazy. He will tell you that you are ill-disciplined. And He will help you and empower you to become what God has called you to be. Stop pretending before the Lord this morning. He sees everything. Adam, where are you? Not that I don't know where you are. I want you to locate you this morning and stop walking in deception. That's the word from the Lord this morning. Adam, where are you? Location question this morning. What are you doing with your life? How's your prayer life? Are you repenting the way you should? Are you giving the way you should? Is it coming from a pure place? Are you really building relationships the way you should be? Come out from deception. I break that spirit of deception from your life this morning. The eyes of your understanding be flooded with light that you may know the hope to which God has called you. You don't just pick whatever you want to pick and say, that's what I want to study next year. Ask the Holy Ghost what you must study next year. Ask Him where you should be. Stop building a world that has got nothing to do with God because it's built in your head. Holy Spirit, help us to be truthful in your presence. If you're tired, if you're angry, if you're confused, God can deal with all of it. All He's asking for is truth. Let's walk in the light because we are children of light. And you are the just and the path of the righteous must become brighter and brighter and brighter. And I'm prophesying and decreeing that and decreeing and declaring that over you. You will look very different in a month's time because you will have clarity, you will have light, you will have understanding, you will know which way to go because you are not living in a fantastical world. You're not living in a world of fantasy. You are who God says you are. There's a reality check coming upon some people. But I believe that God wants to heal. He wants to deliver. He wants to set you free. You're going to have some hard conversations with family members. You're going to speak the truth in love to who you need to speak to. But God is speaking to His people. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God will give you the grace to face what you need to face. But you will go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. You are the just, you are the righteous, and your, the, your path will become brighter and brighter and brighter. You will not leave 2021 in confusion. God's not the author of confusion. You're going to walk in light and understanding. You will know what to do. You will know which way to go because you are led by the Spirit of God. You'll be found studying the right thing. You'll be found connected to the right people. You'll be found in the right place. You'll be doing what God has called you to do because this is real life in the kingdom of God. I bless you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And I declare and declare that you will always walk in victory all the days of your life and you will go from glory to glory you will go from strength to strength you will go from faith to faith because you are the just and your path is becoming brighter and brighter in Jesus mighty name God bless you we see you in the morning amen and amen